what's up guys welcome back to the channel easy hvac all right so in today's video we are going to be changing out this uh, thermost thermostatic expansion valve on this linux package unit uh, this particular unit has three circuits three compressors three txvs and the one that we're changing out is the uh, is for the second stage so we're changing out the second stage uh, txv um, it was not working properly uh, we had uh, excessive superheat uh, very low saturation temperature uh, but our subcooling was normal uh, head pressure was normal uh, we already uh, checked the filter dryer there were no restrictions there um, but we will be changing out the filter dryer um, along with the txv uh, but basically, yeah, uh, low saturation temperature. We had a superheat around uh, was it 40, about 40, de 40 degrees superheat, which is obviously pretty high. Um, so this TXV uh, was not functioning properly. Um, so we are, again, changing that out. So there are three connection points uh, on the TXV. You have the liquid line coming from the condenser, which is that line that I have the channel locks on. Uh, at the top that we're unsweating first so that line comes from the condenser that's the liquid line uh, and then you have the on the other side you have the uh, uh, the distributor tubes going into the evaporator um, and that's uh, that's at the bottom uh, but you don't unsweat uh, each you know individual tube uh, and remove the distributor tubes you're just all you're doing is just unsweating the uh, uh, on the other side of the TXV uh, you, you're unsweating the connection point from the TXV to the distributor tubes and what we're doing right now is, is un unsweating the, uh, the equalization line which is kind of the closing force of the TXV so uh, we just got that line done uns uh, unsweat and now we're tackling the uh the other side of the txv to the evaporator but the top of the evaporator or the top the top of the txv if you can see there is is the power head that's where the sensing bulb uh connects to so you have your sensing bulb that lands on the suction line and you have the capillary tube that goes to the uh the power head and that's the opening force of the TXV. So yeah, we're just trying to get this, uh, get that last part. Now, typically you may, um, I mean, typically this is kind of something that you probably do by yourself, um, but I had a fellow technician uh, able to assist so that I could uh, record and kind of show you guys, you know, the whole process. All right, so that TXV is out. There she is. There's the old TXV. So yeah, so that's uh, that one's out of there, and uh, now we will be uh, putting in the new TXV. All right, so there's the new TXV. We're kind of just getting it fitted, putting the equalization line back, uh, the line to the uh, evaporator, the distributor tubes, just putting everything back together. That top part. Um, we actually had to cut a little bit on the we had to make a cut on the liquid line and uh, just so that it could fit into the txv on the txv side it's swaged um so we had and on the on the other side it was also swaged so we had two sides that were swaged so they wouldn't fit uh, so we had to make a cut on the liquid line and uh, and it was able to slide in so now this is just us sweating the TXV back in. We see we've got the rag, wet rag, 
uh, covering the body of the TXB to kind of keep it protected. You don't want the heat to mess up any of the in internal parts of the TXB. So there he is sweating in the equalization line. But yeah, I mean, these are pretty straightforward. Um, nothing too complicated about them other than getting your angles right and making sure that you're, uh, you know, making sure that your your braises are good. Um, always check, you know, uh, the important things are to uh, obviously protect the TXV, the new TXV, whether you use a wet rag or the compound wet rag. It's like a, a putty. Um, which is actually pretty good stuff, but we didn't have any with us at the time, so we actually had to use literal wet rag. But the important thing is make sure you're protecting the body of the TXV. And then, of course, after you're done brazing, always make sure you check with nitrogen, check your joints, make sure you don't have any leaks. Uh, don't forget to put the suction or the, uh, the sensing bulb back on the uh, suction line. Make sure that's nice and secure. Uh, so that you don't have any uh, issues with that. And we are just about finished. He's just uh, getting that bottom part there. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you uh, the process of taking out a TXV and putting a new one in. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like the content, please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all future videos. And go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm, um, I value everyone's opinion and uh, uh, I enjoy um, being able to talk with fellow techs all across the all across the world. So, yeah, guys, uh, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you next time.